Yo, what's up, everyone? It's Palash. Yo, it's Sean. So, you know, you know, you guys are all bored at home, so we're going to start making videos to entertain you guys. Yeah, we're going to be just talking about life and our own personal experiences and just, you know, whatever comes to mind. You know, eventually, you know, maybe we'll throw some workouts in there and some other oh, stuff, you yeah. know, some funny stuff in there. Some good stuff. But uh, if you guys are watching the videos and if you guys want us to talk about certain things in specific, just mention in the comment box and subscribe. All right. Yep. Talking about jobs and stuff. Yeah. And we were just talking about uh, how we all got scammed when we were younger by uh, like companies like Vectors. We had to go sell knives and stuff, right? Those are the worst, worst job experience <laughs> ever. <laughs> You're the most awkward person ever. <laughs> you have there's another person watching you. <laughs> go. <laughs> but yeah, so my first job was at Dunkin' Donuts. That was my first job. I worked at Dunkin' Donuts for like two years and... Uh, I didn't have really have to do anything. All you have to do is stand there and like make the coffee. And they didn't really want me doing the uh, <laughs> the voice thing one. They're like, your voice doesn't sound like like welcoming Hello, or like anything. Donuts. <laughs> you didn't yeah, get that. So I, I was just the guy at the front, and uh, I give the donuts away. And I always ex threw in extra donuts to people, and they would be pissed off. You can donut to yourself too. Oh yeah, I ate so many <laughs> donuts. Uh, my first job was in college actually, but before that, I had so many like. Manual labor, like slave labor jobs, like nothing you need like a resume for. I remember one time I got to like this um, contracting job where I had to like dig like a hole because this, this client wanted to build like an underground pool, and uh, it was during the summertime, right? And it was so hot. But so, you, were you were you actually like a like how would you be like were you contractor? So like we'll do the manual labor stuff, but we'll do like all like the cleaning and like you know like, like um, moving uh, all the heavy like labor. The main guy you worked under or no? Huh? Main yeah, guy? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Like he like he will get the job and then he will hire like the little guy, you know all the people to like do the stuff for him. So like we're like clean, we're like like digging a huge hole in in the backyard and then uh and then there's this big huge root like in the, like the underground like tree like there's like a tree with a huge root in the middle of it so we'd like chop it down. So while we're chopping, right, summer, like the, the sun's bearing down and everything, and I was getting so hot. So I literally took my shirt off, and I, this, this background is ripped. So I'm, I'm just like literally just taking an axe. I'm just like chopping down like, the, the big root. And then I just see him, his old guy, and his friend. They're just watching me, right? They're just watching me do it. I literally felt like I was a slave. Like, yeah, like about to get auctioned. He's like, yeah, he's a strong one over there. Yeah, I like him. <laughs> they were li I literally felt like I was being like auctioned off or something. That's I, I quit the next day. Yeah. No, because like in labor jobs, like you literally, like, you just. They don't really give a fuck about anything else. Like you just, it, but that's a good thing. At least you don't have to like in like a regular job where um, you have to like improve or anything. You're just doing one thing over and over again. In a labor mm. job, you're just getting a job done. Yeah, there's, there's no like, there's, there's not many things you gotta do. Just like you do this thing, you're done. You know, you yeah. keep doing it, and you, you're done. Yeah. After Dunkin' Donuts, I moved on to Golden Corral at the buffet. That shit was crazy. Like it was filthy food everywhere. Kids throwing food and shit. Mm -hmm. That shit was disgusting. But um, the good thing is um. Buffet, so I would be eating. I would just eat buffet for free, yeah. And uh, yeah, that's when I it started getting bad for me, eating too much food. Bad for me, eating too much food at once. You know. How long did you work there for? For like six months. I worked there <coughs> until I got into college. Once I uh, went to Temple, I stopped uh, hmm. going, um, stopped working there, and oh. I switched over to um, the hotel. I, I went to a hotel restaurant. Oh, you were a waiter there, right? Yeah. Mm. How was that? You like that? It was it was it was a lot of fun actually honestly because it's freedom you just you get paid ca cash pretty much and you just do whatever you want you just serve people food and it's like everyone's like the chemistry there is like chilling like everyone's like always goofing around like all the coworkers like playing and shit like so I heard in, in the restaurant industry and everything all the waiters have fucked each other like all all the waitresses are hoes and they all fuck each other and everything is that true? Well, the truth is in the restaurant industry like it's very provocative like the shit you hear in the back of the kitchen. Like if any customers went back there, they would not eat the food. They would, they would not like. They would not touch the food. Like the shit, you'd be like, oh, some crazy shit to the fucking coworkers to each other. Like uh. it was crazy. Um, uh, the weirdest thing was uncomfortable for me once. So my so my dad worked in the restaurant industry too, right? He's and, out here saying same no, shit. No, 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 no. So I'll be like, what are these? So bitches? he took me like to his work to like go visit when I was younger, right? And then he walks. Uh, he takes me to the back, right? One of the ladies, like, right, and like, she's like, um, she's uh, she actually, her son actually, um, went to school with him. I didn't know who who she was at the time, right? Mm -hmm. But um, she's like, oh, uh, you're not working today, are you? Because he just brought me in like a regular day, and he's like, no, he's like, oh damn, so I thought you were here to lay down pipe for me, like to my dad, and I was just like, what, father, what are you How saying could you? right now? Like, I'm like, that is not normal. 
and then I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna sit out there and eat the desserts. And... What if, what if like the image you have your dad, like you know, super strict, super like you know, like no nonsense, yeah. and then you see him at a work workplace and he's just like a whole gangster. He's just no, like, he's, yo, what's no, up, guys? that is true. He is so chill yeah. on everyone else, yeah. bro. He comes into work, he's a G. Everyone's yo, yeah. like dabbing up him, and he's like, what's up, what's up, and like to me, he's like, don't ever say hi to anyone. <laughs> don't do you anything. See what I'm doing? Do not do it. Do not do any of this. You're not allowed to be cool. I am. <laughs> Go eat the fucking pizza and go 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 to the dessert section. And just eat. Stay that. fat. <laughs> That's what I want. If, if I'm fat, I can't leave the house. You know what I mean? Mm. Oh my god. They no. do anything to keep you in the house. I, I did I did a wait, waiter job once. Like, like my boy, he has a restaurant and uh, he and like his restaurant's doing all right. But there's like one day specifically, like it's, oh he works right next to the Met, mm. and the Met was just opening up and like there's a bunch of like Bob Dylan fans. Mm. Was gonna go it was, like a Bob Dylan concert. And so, like, since he works right there, like, everyone that goes to the Met was gonna go to a restaurant after because they're hungry. So there, was, he knew it was gonna be super busy that day. So he needed extra people. So then, no, nah, I, I, I was like, all right, I got you, man, I'll do it. So then, like, literally the same day I went, he told me how he literally told me everything I need to know, like, real quick. Like, like I had no practice on or anything. He tossed me to the fire. It got so busy, right? And then like, a couple comes in. I sit them down, and like, you know, I sit them down. They order whatever they eat, and another couple sits down. I sit them down, you know, they order, like, give them the food, whatever, and then it come time for them to pay. So the first couple, they give me their card, right? And then the second couple give me their card too at the same time. And then like, I'm like, I just, I don't know how to do it. So like, I go to I go to the cashier spot and I swipe them both. I cashed the, the the first couple. I paid for the other person's food, the other <laughs> couple's food, and then vice versa, right? And then I'm like, maybe they won't notice because I knew I fucked up, right? So I'm like, maybe they won't notice. So I give I give them both it, and then I just kind of like walk away. And then the first guy's like, oh wait, wait, sir, um, the, the the food actually cost this much, and she got that. Why does it come out to be this? I'm like. <laughs> I act like I was like, trying to calculate shit up. I'm like, let me go ask my manager. So I, I asked my boy, I'm like, bro, I fucked up. I charged the wrong people everything. And they're like, oh, fuck. So they, had, like, they literally had to like um, redo the whole payment, like refund it, and then go through it again before you know people could leave and stuff. But uh, that was that. And then there's another couple that came, like, a younger couple, right? And I, I hate Bob Dylan, by the way. Bob Dylan sucks so much. I hate him so much, right? But I knew if I wanted Damn, to tip, I'm going to already lose all the Bob Dylan I hate fans. Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan, like, my, my teacher in high school will always play him and fucking, I hate it. It was horrible. Anyway, um, but like this this young couple, like I knew I needed to make some tips, so they came and I'm like, yo, let me guess, you guys came from the Bob Dylan concert, right? They're like, yeah, we love them. I'm like, me too. So they're like, I literally before they <laughs> before they came, I Google like a bunch of songs. I'm like, did, you, did they did they play this song? Dude, they're like, yes. I'm like, oh my god, he speaks to my soul in this. So like literally, they ordered like appetizers, like like for them both. So it came in twenty dollars. They gave me a twenty dollar tip on top of that. Oh shit. Yeah, it was the no, best. That, thing. That's what you have to do in the service. You have to kiss up and make it seem like, oh my god, me too. Yeah. What? Really? Are we the same? Because, like, in the service industry, you're always, like, people love, like, complaining and shit. Like, mm -hmm. the customers and whatnot. You just have to be like, oh, my God. And you always get a problem on someone else. Oh, uh, 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 you, you mess up the order. I'm like, oh, my God. The new chef we have back. Oh, my God. I knew this was going to happen. Like, Let me get the new one for you. And I go back there and tell the chef, yo, man, uh, they fucked up, man. They told me they wanted this, but yeah, they want this There's always now. a blame game somewhere. Like, you got to tell them the opposite yeah. story. And the chef's like, oh, damn, dude. These motherfuckers always messing up their orders, yeah. man. I'm like, all right, man. Can you just give me a new one? He's like, yeah. And they bring it out and it's like, yeah, here you go, man. Every time I, I always say, this is my, you, know, you guys are my first customer. You guys are my first customers. I think one time I said that to one person and then someone said next time, I'm like, oh, you guys are my first customer. And I swear they were literally looking at me. I did the same thing in Lyft uh -huh. for the first whole month. Because, uh, uh, by the way, we, we both drive, <laughs> we both drove Lyft for a while. <laughs> Right? Wait, you see, I have to call. I have to call. Oh, your mom? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's pick it up. <laughs> I'm, a, uh, I'm in the parking lot just eating and then we're just talking now. Franklin knows. We're just, we're just eating KFC. <laughs> I'm about to come. I'm about to come. Yes. All right, man. Um, 24 and I'm <laughs> still getting whipped. <laughs> still getting whipped. Um, wait, what were you saying? I'm getting whipped, huh? You want to explain? Uh, no, 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 stop. We're not, we're not getting into that stuff right now, ready? We're not getting into that right episode now. Episode 2. No, no, no. <laughs> That's episode 2. But seriously though, like when, when I was getting in Lyft, I, I, because I, every person got in the car, they're like, wow, this car is like fresh, brand like clean, brand new, right? I'm like, yeah, I just got it. Mm. I just got it, you know, I needed to get a job and like I put all my money toward this car and I'm just doing lift now. Like, wow, you just did this investment. You made this like big move. I'm like, that's pretty much it. Yeah, you're actually like, you're actually one of my like first rides. Like I, uh, you know, like I'm just mm -hmm. getting into it, you know? Mm -hmm. They're like, wow, this is so great. And like the tips in the beginning were so much more than now, obviously. Yeah. 
but that's what I did for the first whole month. And I never took off my tag for new car. Look, it's still back there. <laughs> like I'm not peeling off. Yeah, already. like, oh, did you just get this car? Mm. And like, it's in lot shittier condition. But I just keep saying that. I just love how when you're doing lift, you can reinvent yourself every time. So every single time I'm like, yeah, I'm a physical therapy. Uh, <laughs> my profession is physical therapy. But I'm doing something. So many people, if they see us, yeah. and they're gonna be like, these motherfuckers lied to us. <laughs> Like literally, I'd be like, "Oh my god, yeah, I, I've been struggling. I, I, I just got hit by a car." Is that <laughs> Yo, no. Thing is with me though is like, so when you apply for lift, you gotta like, you take a picture, right? And they yeah. tell you to smile. I didn't smile because I hate my smile. So then I have like a very like intimidating face. I'm just like, stay right there, right? And like I'm brown, and like I look like a whole terrorist. Right? A, a lady, she actually came to, when I was in, when I picked her up. She's like. I honestly almost canceled because you kind of look intimidating. Like I wasn't sure if I could like trust you or not, <laughs> and I'm like, damn. <laughs> but she's like, you know. But in person, you look a lot better though. So what's that? That's good. That's it's, yeah. Keep but tell about your uh, your experiences about having some good lift. Passengers. Good lift passengers. Yes, you know there tends to be some passengers that are more fond of you than others. Mm. You know. Yeah. And but, you know you're single, so obviously you can do these kind of things. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, like you're not. Wait, who are you talking? I am like a single human being. Like, who are you talking to? Your mom could be calling Sean. What are you? Are you single, Sean? Let's go talk. Call on me real quick. No, it's cool though, cause I love how like um like when you talk to a passenger, like you vibe with them so well, and like you they must be so stressed about their day either at work or like you know their relationship, or whatever. And then they talk to you, and then like they feel so much better about themselves. And I love being able to do that with customers or passengers. It's low key, just like, you know how bartenders always hear yeah, people's problems? Yeah, like, I literally compare Literally, someone gets in the car, like you could just be like, how's your day going? And then like, mm. you're not gonna see you again. So they tell you like their whole story and mm. everything. And I love how like, when you kind of like give, when you kind of like give your tips and advice to them, you kind of listen to it and you're like, oh shit, you know, that kind of applies to me too a little bit. And I like how like, that kind of goes in like, both ways, you know? It's pretty mm. dope. For uh her. -huh. Uh -huh. Always eat, eat more than you can chew. Mm-hmm. Huh? You don't like the ice? No. Too cold. My hands are dirty. Well, yeah, we did have, um... Okay, it's today. Mm. It's the Nashville. Oh, it wasn't bad. We're gonna do, uh, this hot... If, if you guys ever watch Hot Ones on YouTube, we're gonna do that challenge, uh, probably, like, next week sometime, and, like, just... You know, have like nine rounds of uh, different types of uh, heated up wings. I don't know nine rounds. Like, how many spices? Nine, you, yeah. We have nine different spices. We should get some. We should get nine. Okay, so we're gonna do a challenge. It's gonna be me versus him, right? Um, Bengali versus. I don't know who's Indian. actually watch is gonna watch this. So, but like, if you are watching it, like you know, put down who who you think is gonna win, and it's gonna obviously be me. You know, as a given, yeah, right? Absolutely. And like, I don't know. This is it's gonna be fun, you know, reacting and everything. But I think I'm gonna win automatically. I think we should bet on it too, make it more interesting, you know? Actually, no, this is an exclusive, <laughs> this is my exclusive uh, content, but uh, we had a Taco Bell ch challenge uh, yesterday oh, night. Oh, no, no, that was not even this legit. this guy would not, This dude probably drank like two gallons of water on the fire sauce. We didn't go to no, Diablo. No, 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 no. First like, all, he I was literally dying. Was like, it was the funniest thing ever. And now he's all here, like, all public, talking about all that rah rah. But you got it though, man. You know, you got it. No, that's funny. That's, funny. that's funny. That's funny. All right, we'll find out next week on the next episode of. We don't have a name for this show yet. We'll find out eventually. We'll find out. All right, guys. Signing off, guys. Yes.